Welcome to The Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta, and we're here at the PBS 39 studio at Steel Stacks in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Today we're cooking with Chef Mace McCovey, who's chef de cuisine at Emerald's Italian Table at the Sands Casino and Resort. Welcome, Chef. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here, and I heard that you're going to help us turn pasta green. That what we're, that's what we're going to do. All right, that's what we're do. let's make it happen. All right, uh, for starters, we're going to make some uh, cheese tortellinis. Uh, we're going to get some spinach. So that's going to give us the green, I'm guessing. That is going to give us the green. Okay. Uh, if you want to use parsley, anything green, the green from leeks. Could you use basil? You may use basil. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're extracting the chlorophyll, uh, which it doesn't matter. So would you add about a cup of water in there or? Something like that. Okay. Mm. So what kind of consistency Woo, are you looking for here? We're going for uh, constant liquefied. All right. All right, once we get that. That was quick. <laughs> okay, then we're going to strain it out, is what we're going to do. Now... So you're just looking for the liquid color. That is correct. And look at that, so that is we'll, uh, super green. It, put it through a chinois, try to get all the liquid out as we can. And you can use a regular strainer at home if you don't have a chinois. Absolutely, correct? absolutely. Great. So tell me yeah. about Emerald's Italian Table while we're... Uh, uh, making some green. Uh, we make everything from scratch there, which is nice. So, we got this, uh, we'll put this on high heat. We're gonna watch this. Uh, right now we're gonna make some ricotta cheese, which we, uh, we do at the restaurant. Homemade? Homemade, every time. That's fantastic. Uh, so we're gonna take some milk, we're gonna take some cream, and we're gonna bring that up to temperature. Uh, we're gonna bring that up to a boil, and then what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna whisk in some lemon juice, and it's gonna make the uh, make make the milk curdle. So we're gonna wait on this, uh, and then we're gonna make some pasta. All right, I'm up for that. I think that's what this baby's for, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna take some flour. Now we're using whole wheat flour, pastry flour. Uh, All-purpose flour. All you can flour. use semolina. It takes a little bit more to work it, but that's fine. We're gonna have a little bit of egg yolks here, and this is the uh, chlorophyll that is extracted from here, which we'll see in a little bit once it starts to separate. So this will be your final product after Absolutely. you finish on this. This stuff. is the uh, the spinach and the water color. that we put in here. We're gonna strain through a coffee filter, which uh, for me is the absolute best thing to use for it. And that's that. This is a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. So I'll run this. We're gonna add our egg slowly. Ooh, careful! <laughs> it's going fast. Now what'll happen is if you need a little more moisture in there, you can add a little bit of cold water until it starts to uh, come together and form a ball. Then it'll start moving around. So this is gonna be your dough for the pasta? This is gonna be the pasta dough. What are your other favorite pastas on the menu at Emerald's Italian uh, Table? We do a carbonara, which is probably my favorite. I love carbonara. And it's a uh, real carbonara. We make it with fresh organic eggs. So that's, uh, that's always nice. I'm gonna confess, you know when I love carbonara the most? Yeah. It's bacon and oh, eggs, pretty eggs much. Eggs for breakfast. Okay. So then what you're left off with, uh, throw a little bit of flour down so it doesn't stick. And Shall then you I have a pasta. Get this out of way? Yes, absolutely. So basically what you have here is a green pasta. Uh, you can knead it a little bit, fold it over with your hand, make it run. And then what you end up with, uh, you want to... Uh, let it set to let the gluten relax for about half hour. And then uh, the temp what, or in the fridge? Uh, the fridge is preferable. And then what you have is uh, green pasta at the end. Look at that. So we'll take this, uh, we'll put this it aside. Cool. So what we're gonna do now is roll out some of the pasta. Just gonna grab one of those towels. Okay. Now this you can see, uh, it has completely separated. You have clear liquid. Oh, you can really it see looks, that. And uh, looks like a little bit like pond scum. And, uh... <laughs> that what, doesn't sound too appetizing. No, no, can no, we no. say like spirulina or something? Sure. Okay. But what happens is, is all the uh, chlorophyll separates when it's brought up to temperature. And then we can use this to uh, color the pasta. 
see how the uh, liquid is clear underneath? Yes. So what you're using is actually what's in the in the coffee filter. Absolutely. Okay. Stay tuned for more from Sands Casino Resort. We're back with more from Sands Casino Resort Bethlehem. So are, are you hosting any special events right now that uh, at Emerald's Italian Table I should know about? Uh, not recently. No? Uh, we have a couple of wine dinners. Yeah? Do you ever feature um, winemakers or producers or that yeah, kind of thing? Yeah, all the time, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, we try to go local just to, uh, support the, uh, to support everyone. Yeah. You know, it's important. With a pasta machine, uh, start at the highest setting, obviously. I'm really used to the ones where you crank it yourself. Yeah, and you can do it with uh, by hand noisy, as well, yeah. too. Yeah. And just work it down. Oh, that's yeah. really starting to look beautiful. Plus, and when you flatten it out, you can see the color even more. Yeah, so we'll crank this down to number two and leave it at that. So we'll take a ring mold. Mm -hmm. uh, what, you want to cut them in squares, you can cut them in squares, you can cut them in triangles. Uh, Christmas trees, whatever you, uh, whatever you so desire. <laughs> That's not gonna work for tortellini, is it? Yeah, you never know. Hearts? Exactly. And... Yeah, I'll take, I'll take care All of right. that. And is Emerald's Italian Table one of the bigger restaurants at Sands Casino Resort? Uh, or is it more small and intimate? Uh, we can sit about 180 people, so it's pretty decently sized. Yeah, it'd be great for groups. Yeah, uh, that we do definitely all the time. We can do family style as well, so that's uh, you know that's always a nice deal. Now this is ricotta cheese that I mix with a little bit of mascarpone, salt and pepper. So what we're making there, you mix then with the mascarpone, salt and pepper, and then this is the final product. Exactly. Okay, which goes in the center. Beautiful. Put a little bit in the center there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we wanna close it off. We wanna pull one side over, keep your finger in there. Uh, right, I'm gonna do this with you, hold on. Hit it with a little bit of egg wash so it sticks. Like so. So I'm making a half shell first, right? Exactly. Okay. Now if yeah. you wanna just make regular raviolis, that's fine as well too, whatever you wanna do. Oh, this is almost like, well it's a little bit thick to be like an annulote, but. Mm. It's a, well, my grandmother is Italian, but she never taught me how to make homemade pasta. It's not really fair. Okay. All right, now wait, what am I doing here? Put your finger over. Bring it over. <laughs> okay. Got it? Yeah. Give it a little bit of egg wash there. Okay. Just stick. Well, splash. Fold it over, then pull the, uh, pull the back ends out. Oh, look at that. He's coming together a bit. And you got capellines. <laughs> now you want to do regular raviolis, fold it over. How do you get your finger out of <laughs> here? Yeah, no, it's tough. <laughs> slowly, slowly. I don't think I used enough egg. It's not sticking. Okay. Mine doesn't look anywhere near as good as yours, but put that one on the bottom, okay? No problem. It's not a perfect <laughs> science, everybody. You know, but this is what's uh, good. This is what makes, you know, probably the food at Emerald's table so lovely and so good. I mean, this is just, this is, you're taking the time. You're taking, you you're care about every little tortellini that goes on the table. I love it. Okay, now that we've formed our tortellini, what do we need to do next? We can start with the chicken. Yeah, let's get the chicken yeah, started. Yeah. So that's our other dish? Yep, that's our other dish. Uh, okay, we have a whole uh, organic chicken here from Everly Farms. <gasps> I love Everly Farms. Uh, what we're going to really do, uh, we're really going to debone it. So uh, I should watch you do this we're gonna because bring I'm not it down. an expert. Uh, there's a uh, 80 million ways to debone a chicken, whichever uh, you feel comfortable with, and whichever uh, is easiest for you. So you're just slicing it away from the main breast. Exactly, exactly. We're gonna debone the whole thing. Cavity. Okay, we'll take it's that. Flattened the it other out, half huh? will do later. Uh, we're gonna, this is a. Uh, Probably a, a, a good tip would be to have a super sharp knife, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's always a plus. Uh, we're gonna follow the bone here. Uh, get underneath it, peel it away. There's a little knuckle here, uh, so you can cut around. 
kind of carving around it, uh, it looks like, huh? Never, ever, ever cut towards you, but as my father said, uh, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> uh, you just have got to be it. really, uh, really careful on this. <laughs> yep. And then uh, peel the meat down. You always have natural separations in meat. You do that with such ease. That's why you're and the chef. And then we uh, we pop this through. Okay, so right now you have a uh, have a chicken that's uh, completely uh, boneless, except for this bone here, which is uh, fine by me. Right. How's this look, chef? Uh, it's close. It's got a little skim on top. Stay tuned for more from Sands Casino Resort. We're back with more from Sands Casino Resort. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear the chicken off. So we'll take a, uh, a nice pan. Bring it up to a nice temperature. Looking good. All right, we'll take this a little bit. You gonna uh, season them or? Yeah, yeah we're definitely gonna season it. All right, we'll do that. Got a few lemons there. So tell me about this recipe. Is something you created? Uh, this is original emeralds. Uh, this we've had on the menu since uh, they opened up day one, and it's uh, it's a phenomenal dish. So we've always kept it on. Wow. It's uh, it's solid. So he's kind of famous for it. Is yeah, it it, it's solid orders? every way. It's uh, it's a good dish. So now let's go back to the ricotta real quick. While yes. Heats. All right, we got this up to a scorch. We're gonna add uh, lemon juice into it. it. Smells good. And what it's gonna do? It's going to uh, it's gonna curdle the milk. Is what it's gonna do. It has that salty, briny cheese smell already. Exactly. So now you can see it here, starting to curdle. Uh, we're gonna throw this on here. Got a little bit of salt on the backside. We're gonna throw some uh, lemon and rosemary. It's right on top. Yep right on top and we're gonna weigh it down with a brick. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep oh, it on high heat. Oh, that's the brick where you see that's that the on, brick. on menus. Yeah, brick it's, not a, oven it's not a real brick, but... Uh, I guess you yeah. could wrap it in tin foil, put it on yeah, top. It's but. close, it's close. You can do uh, any, anything you'd like to do. So you're gonna finish this off in the oven then? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and actually we're gonna get a decent sear on it and then uh, throw the whole pan right into the oven. So preheat the oven to? 400 degrees. 400, hot. And I will throw this in the oven. About, uh, about 15 minutes until it's done nicely. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, olive oil again. Yep, got it. Let that heat up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is sear off uh, some Brussels sprouts that have been already blanched and shocked, which is just uh, boiled in water and uh, cooled down in an ice bath. And keep that bright green color. Yep. Uh, we're gonna... Uh, like get some color on the front side. And then we're gonna add some, uh, some uh, pancetta that's already been uh, rendered down, which just means it's been cooked. Okay. We're gonna get the risotto going for the chicken, which is in the oven, and then, uh, then we're ready to go. Okay. All right. And the so bird's okay in the oven, cooking bird's good? Bird's okay in the oven. How long are you leave them in there? Uh, I'd say about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. So we're gonna we take gonna some... We're gonna get the recipe for this too later? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw some risotto in here. That's uh, this onion, some uh, arborio risotto. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we par cook it, so it's uh, obviously easier to heat up for us. Uh, and we're gonna add some a uh, little bit of uh, Parmesan stock. We go through a uh, a lot of Parmesan cheese at the restaurant. So what do you use? The rinds to make All the rinds. stock. All rinds, rinds and water. Uh, the whole key is to uh, utilize everything that you possibly can. That's, uh, that's the Italian way. Well, that's kind of the every way, <laughs> in all honesty. So, we'll get this going. Uh, we'll let this get some color on it. And how's our ricotta done? Ricotta's working, still Good. working. Okay. Uh, so we'll get some color on here. Uh, we're gonna add uh, some uh, caramelized onions. Mm, the Brussels sprouts smell good. I know some people don't love them, but I really do. Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, for me it's a win-win all over the place. We'll add some uh, caramelized onions in there. Mm. And uh, we'll get oh, some. No, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna get that in for you, but you're we'll two steps some, ahead uh, of me. 
some, yeah, everything's better with bacon, huh? Yes, it is. Bacon okay. makes everything better. And that we got working. So right. uh, if we should, we can uh, start plating up the uh, raviolis. Okay. And then uh, by that point, this should be heated up, the risotto should be done, and the chicken should be done as well, too. Okay. So put these in some boiling water. Always make sure your pasta water is salted. That's uh, very important. Okay, so this. Put some nice color on the Brussels sprouts. Hit it up with... Uh, mm, they smell wonderful. A little bit of parm stock. I love that idea, parm stock. I mean, I've put it in soups before, but I've never actually made a stock with it. All right, get that. Let that cook down a little bit. <laughs> Got the butter. And the salt. All right. So uh, let's go with the uh, raviolis. We'll drop some in, or the uh, cannellinis, rather. All right. Um, we need to pour him through the cheesecloth? That we do. All right. Let's get that happening. So homemade pasta sauce. Homemade red sauce. It's important. <laughs> red sauce. Growing up since gravy. I'm from South Philly. Gravy. Totally gravy. That's Got a so lot of things going at once. I really admire your multitasking skills. Okay, so that's that. Mm. So this will be for our chicken. Pasta. Yep. Uh, that will uh, wait till these babies get ready. So these must quick cook relatively fast because they're so fresh. Yeah, yeah that they do. That they do. Uh, so basically, all we need to do is heat up the uh, ricotta cheese in the middle, and then uh, we're good to go. Stay tuned for more with Chef Mace McCovey. We're back with more from Sands Casino Resort. All right, we've got all burners going. All right. Wait till they float. Good to go. They're so pretty. It's going to be such a nice contrast with the red tomato sauce. Well, you know, it's the Italian flag. <laughs> and then the cheese will be the, the white, right? Exactly. <laughs> Some Parmesan cheese here. A little bit of fried basil. You put these in the oven? Uh, in the fryer. In Just the drop fryer. them right in the fryer. So pretty. The perfect plate of tortellini. And there we go. Uh, and then we'll strain out the ricotta cheese here. Some cheesecloth, hence properly named. Oh, careful. <laughs> and once that drains out, then you have the ricotta cheese. And you mix hence. it with the mascarpone and the herbs. And, and salt fill. and pepper. And Season and it up pepper. nicely. And then uh, you have a nice filling. Okay. And then voila, you get this dish. Yep, then we have that. Uh, then what we'll do is we're going to finish off the uh, risotto. We're going to add some butter in there. I see that butter is starting to go quickly. Add some Parmesan cheese. Give it a nice mix. How are these guys doing? Those are plate perfect. Plate these? Yep. Nice and creamy. Let's... Uh, if you make a proper risotto, it shouldn't, uh, it should be, uh, it should run flat. You shouldn't be able to, uh, if you make a really proper risotto, it shouldn't be something that you can stick a chip in it. Oh, it should, you mean be, it uh, should have a nice cream to it. Yep, it's, it should be a little bit runny. Thick. Two minutes, chef. Okay, so. Check on that chicken. No, uh, chicken's done. All right. Perfect. Let's so do uh, a little bit. Uh, pull that up for you here. A little bit of risotto. Some Brussels sprouts. All right, careful, this is hot. Okay. How's he look? He looks perfect. Great. And then we have the chicken. Okay. 
Chef McCovey, you've done such a beautiful, impressive job of making these great dishes for us today. I cannot wait to try them. Will you join me? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Absolutely. And I'll also have a little wine here for you. Yeah, some Montepulciano de Ruzzo, which will go very nice Salute. with the Italian food that you created today. Cheers. Mm. Okay, I'm going straight for the tortellini. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ricotta just ooze out of there. Fantastic. Mmm. Quite nice, no? So light and so delicious. Creamy goodness. Mmm. Reminds me of being a child. So good. Mmm. Chicken. <laughs> Where do I start? Mm. Cut the side off. Go for the back. All right. Unless no. you prefer the white meat. Uh, I, I do whichever, like light uh, meat. White meat. You know, it's a little leaner. Got to keep a figure. But I like the crunchy part, so I'm going to get that. Got to get some risotto in here. A little caramelized onions, pancetta, and I'm good to go. And the dish is everything. yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the Brussels sprout fan. Mm. Me too. Mm. This is fantastic. What a dish. So that's I mean, one of uh, Emerald's classic dishes that we, uh, we've done from the get-go, and it's, uh, it's solid. Classic Italian dish from Emerald, made by you. I will come visit you at Emerald's Italian table at the Sands Casino Resort. Thank you, Chef. Cheers. No problem. Thank you. Salute. Good job.